Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Chris, and my furry feline friend here is in need of an amulet of Xenathar. We are going to go and procure the amulet at the Shrine of Xenathar in the ruins just north of Jukar's monument. This amulet is notoriously glitchy, which is why I'm doing this video. Jukar's monument is directly west from where we are now, which is just about Whiterun Stables. Uh, our route is going to be different, but we're going to do the short, short version first for people with short attention spans. Here we go, folks. We are here at the ruins. And if we look just south, there is Jukar's monument. Here is the altar of Xenathar. The ruins. And as we get closer, we'll see a speech skill book, 2920. And the amulet is just to the left of it. If you take the skill book, the amulet jumps. So it could be to the left. It's right now right in front. That's where it most often appears. Uh, but you got to look around. If it gets lost, it, it's there somewhere. It just gets glitchy. Again, why I'm doing this video. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the short, short version. Uh, now we are going to go ahead and do the long version, which is a route that I have worked up. Uh, several, several times I've run it. There's a whole bunch of things that you can pick up uh, that can be useful. So I encourage you to watch the route, follow along if you want, or just remember it for future playthroughs. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at that map again. So, we are going to go from where we are now, which is pretty much the stables. We're going to go past the western watchtower, down to the fort. We're going to go up towards Redoran's Retreat. And then we're going to circle on the other side of the mountain. Kind of circuitous, uh, but at very low levels on Legendary, this is the route to take. Uh, there are very few things which can or will kill you. If you run straight for it, you're going to encounter at least one Saber Cat, maybe two, and you won't make it. So, let's be off. Heading towards the Watchtower. Let's uh, let's make this easier on ourselves. Let's take some vegetable soup. It does stack to a point, though I'm not sure how much. And let's kick it into high gear. Now I am just double timing this footage here because this is pretty standard. You can cut across the plains there uh, to save a little bit of distance. There are wolves that do appear there, so depending on your level, you're going to want to be careful and choose wisely. Uh, the biggest challenge to this route is the random encounters that occur. Uh, right on the other side of the bridge is the location for the random encounter spawn. Uh, right under the bridge is a Nern route. But right over here on the right, uh, at level 5, which is generally when I, I come and make this run, thankfully it's just the old orc, at level 5 it's usually the uh, thief that I encounter who is invisible, who surprises me, who you cannot avoid. Uh, so if you come early, there's a good chance you're going to encounter the thief. Here we are at Redoran's Retreat, which is a good stop for some mushrooms, also some ale, and a sneak skill book. That's also a popular site for Amran's sword, uh, and probably other quests. We're going to go just north again here, and we're going to come up to Dustman's Cairn. Now, we don't need this location. However, I use this as an early access point for Hanging Moss. There's like 13, something like that there. Uh, so you can go on. And I believe there is a two-handed skill book inside. Uh, two-handed or block. Don't often use those skills, so I'm not entirely certain. But there is a skill book inside there. Um, now for this part uh, what I do is as I head ooh, we got mammoths falling from the sky as I head down here towards the river I look for the deer if there are deer that means that it's safe so see where there's a deer and you just gun it that way now we are going into the river and there's a reason for this uh, because typically up on the left here is where wolves spawn uh, there's usually three I think uh, however 
for this walkthrough, because I'm recording, uh, the wolves decided to already be on the other side of the river, and there they are. Now, immediately to our left is the spot where you will meet Fenrig uh, for the uh, quest, the Book of Love. But if we stay on the left shore here, and you do not want to go up, stay on the ground. Uh, mud crabs on the right side, so stay low. Random spawn point to your left there, you want to avoid that. Just keep running, keep going. We are coming up here on Swindler's Den, and we're going to stay to the left. Uh, there is nothing dangerous on the left. However, if you go to the right, that's another story. Uh, make your own choices. So, <laughs> what I like to do here at the top of Swindler's Den is just come on up, hop up on the rocks, and I will get the location this way. This is a good place to come. Lots of bandits. Uh, it's a really long hideout. Not easy, but definitely a challenge. So we're going to go back, uh, run along the edge of the mountain here, and there is a reason for doing this. We could go straight for the ruins, but if we circle just this little way down here, we come across this Shrine of Stendar. And at the Shrine of Stendar is a lockbox, a flawless amethyst, a salt pile, and the enchanting skill book Twin Secrets. That's, uh, I think there's only two locations for that book, so that book comes in handy if you get into enchanting at all. Now here we are between the Swindler's Den and Jukar's Monument. And I am really pushing for this run through so I'm just gunning it uh, which has changed things slightly for one the wolves that we initially met I, I normally don't encounter those these wolves I never encounter uh, and I will address that in a minute so I'm gonna try and just avoid the wolves and I'm trying unsuccessfully to get up here and yeah and then I remembered I have flesh spells I could cast just for the experience. So, uh, I'm running up here just to get this chest real quick and to equip my bow so I can deal with these wolves. I had hoped to not encounter anything for this recording, but, you know, it's Skyrim. So, real quick, pop this chest open. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. And the wolves seem to have scattered, so let's head on down to the shrine. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. That's... that's not... Hmm. Hmm. Well. Here we are, down at the shrine of Xenathar. And let's see how things play out this time. There's the book. Take the book, read the book. And amulet is down on the floor. In fact, I think it was already down there when I arrived. So clear out the shrine, collect all the goodies, and let me shoot this bad boy in the face. There you go. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, I do want to, well, what I want to do is show you Jukar's monument, but these wolves have made it increasingly difficult. Up here at Jukar's Monument, there are a couple points of interest. One, this site is the location for the Book of Love quest, the final uh, stage of the quest. And here at the monument is a level shield. Uh, it's been ebony for me at times. If I come back here, uh, if you take a long enough time to come back, the shield does change, so you can get a great shield. There's also a Corundum Orvane, and my intention was to show you that and then just end the video but we're in combat and I can't end with that face. So I have two wolves I'm going to take out. If you want to stick with me, that's great. If not, I appreciate you having stayed with me this long. Uh, this is actually interesting, fun. I encourage you to watch. Ooh, all right. There we go. Ouch. Now, I don't even have a, a very high armor rating. Uh, in fact, I barely smithed my gear up. Uh, what I did was I got to level 31 so I could get the Dwarven Bow. And then I just smithed the, uh, the gear up. I do have a ring, necklace, and uh, bracers of smithing. So, 
not not a very good armor rating. In fact, if I hit a saber cat like the one over there in that pool, I would die instantly. All right, let's take this amazing shot. I love that. That was a great shot. Whew. We did it. We completed the video. But but <laughs> Here is what I wanted to show you as well. If you don't rush and you don't run through, that giant and that mammoth usually kill whatever animals spawn here. If it's a saber cat, if it's skeevers, skeevers, or if it's wolves, they usually take care of it. So you can be safe, you can come the whole way and not encounter anything if you're careful. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful. Please leave comments if you liked or have criticisms. I'm happy to hear it. I appreciate all your support, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.